Hello, internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi, and I'm on a weight loss journey and a YouTube journey. And today, I want to break down what my YouTube journey scheduling looks like and my weight loss stuff. So throughout almost 100 days of vlogging, I have mentioned multiple goals all over the place, saying I want to do this, 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 and this. Uh, and strayed a little bit away from the original goals. So I sat down and I looked at what they were. I'm gonna give them to you now. I wanna lose weight. For me, that means to be in a calorie deficit, get at least 87 grams of protein a day, and to work out five times a week. So that will be the accountability part of my vlog. Every day I will share with you my previous day's calorie deficit or calorie count, the protein amount that I got in, and five times a week, I will be showing you my workout routine. The second part is to give you guys good quality vlogging material daily. So what that means to me is I want it to be uploaded in 4K. I want the videos to be 11 minutes long. If they're shorter, that's great. I don't want them to be any longer. And the way that I have looked at my B-roll, the way I have my act set up, 11 minutes seems to be the sweet spot for me. Following a schedule daily, I have made the schedule, now I just need to follow it. I want it to be engaging, I want it to have fun editing. That's all subjective, I suppose, but it is a goal. And I want my videos to follow a theme throughout the day. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you kind of notice that each of my rooms have a theme. I'm a theme girl, I love themes. So why not theme out the structure of my day? That means the title, the thumbnail, the first five seconds, and all three acts will be cohesively around this theme. Okay, so now I need to break down the schedule. So I'm gonna shrink down here, put a calendar up top, a Sunday through Saturday calendar, and we're gonna fill this out together. <laughs> or I'm gonna fill it out and you'll watch. So as I said before, accountability will be every single day. There will be a daily weigh-in, a calorie count, and a protein count. Mondays are going to be motivational Mondays. I'm gonna start out the day with a motivational quote, do a quick check-in, kind of tell you guys what that means to me, how it's making me feel for the day, get me pumped up for the week to come and motivated. I'm gonna do a quick cleaning because having a clean house to start out the week motivates me. Do my Monday exercise, which will include 300 reps of the row machine, 30 minutes on the treadmill, and some form of a yoga video. We'll do an evening check-in where I discuss whether or not that motivational quote did anything for me throughout the day, and that will be Motivational Monday. Pretty simple, lots of opportunities to do stuff within that segment. Tuesdays are gonna to be Together Tuesdays. Tuesdays have been set aside for Steven and I to spend time together, whether it is through a board game or watching a movie, and that will usually happen in the evening, so the upload time for that is going to be different than the rest of the week. And if I can't figure out how to get 4K to upload quicker, it may not be 4K. I have to accept that if I still want it to be uploaded by 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'll be doing a 30 minute treadmill, Derby strength training, and the workout bench. Wednesday is going to be Wellness Wednesday. Throughout the day, I'm going to just be sprinkling in facts about wellness stuff. <laughs> Good things about getting outside and walking the dogs or just being outside. Additional nutritional facts added in with the shots of my breakfast. And we will have a morning check-in as per usual, but it will be the nutritional information. Like I have been wanting to cover sodium, so that will probably be this coming Wednesday where I will talk probably about five minutes about sodium. But it doesn't always have to be nutritional facts. That's why it's Wellness Wednesday, because it could be about stress-related stuff. The important facts about our wellness is a list that will always continue to go on and on and on. So plenty of material there. Uh, I will also be trying some form of a new aerobic video or one that I really liked or maybe Taibo, or whatever the mood strikes for Wednesday. And I will also be adding some information about the benefits of it, as well as possibly how to do them correctly. I have a bad leg, so I have to adjust anything that has to do with jumping. And I will show you guys more in depth how to adjust for those videos when they don't explain it. So many opportunities to discuss this stuff. So Wednesdays are looking like my favorite day almost. I mean, besides spending together time with Stephen, of course. Thursdays are gonna be clean with me's. You guys all saw it coming. Thursday is my cleaning day. Just makes sense to do a clean with me video. I will try and make them as interesting as possible. There are plenty of ideas on how to do that. I did so much research on why people like clean with me videos. 
and there's a possibility that these videos may be 15 minutes long because apparently one of the benefits is that if it is a 15 minute long video, it's just enough time to get a task started and completed when someone is trying to get motivated to clean. So hopefully I have done enough research on why people like clean with me videos and I can execute this correctly. This one may need some work. I will also be doing 30 minutes on the treadmill, derby, and the workout bench. Okay, so Fridays. The theme is found on the internet Friday. So if you guys are like me and you watch a lot of commentary videos along with a lot of weight loss journey vlogs, the algorithm has hit you hard with Amberlynn Reed commentaries, Mr. Snowflake stuff, the list goes on. And I have just been saving those in a new playlist that I will be updating weekly where I will go over them on Friday because there is a lot of stuff being said. And frankly, I don't like watching the Amberlynn Reed and Chantel vlogs, but I do like watching the commentators. They're a lot more interesting to me and they find stuff all over. Like they find it on the TikTok stuff. So I get everything I need to know from a commentary channel and then I will comment on it as well. So it's a little inception going on there. It's not all going to be about weight loss, but it mostly is because this is a weight loss journey channel and most of my commentary is now on weight loss because of the algorithm. But I am definitely hoping to find some like cute pet videos I can just watch at the end of every video with you guys for like five minutes. This will also include recommendations. Um, I find a lot of channels that I find very interesting like the Autumn Bates and Brianna Jewell and uh, Michelle McDaniel. So that will give me a great opportunity to say, hey, I found this and recommend it. And also I have been on r slash nutrition. So it isn't just going to be YouTube videos, TikTok videos, commentary videos. I might just read a nutrition screen of Reddit with you guys and give you my takeaway and opinion about that. So there's a lot of stuff on the internet, which gives me lots of room to move around in that field, shall we say. I'll also be doing 300 reps of the row machine, 30 minutes of the treadmill, and some yoga on Fridays. Uh, also, not gonna lie, on Fridays, that's a chance for me to actually grow my channel. If I am commenting on the commenters, they might take notice of it and they may comment on my commenting of them commenting and possibly get more viewers. So I've always been open about the fact that I want to grow organically and learn YouTube tricks and this might be one of them. All right, Saturday. Spending time outside Saturdays. Okay, I tried with the alliteration on that. I just couldn't find a way. I love alliteration, I love puns. I just couldn't figure this one out. So Saturdays are a little hard to plan for because we're under a wind advisory right now. So we're not going outside at all, not whatsoever. Mm -mm. But as the weather gets better, we should be having walks with the dogs, doing boat projects and possibly sailing. So to be fully transparent about that, if I'm doing boat projects throughout the week, it's gonna go into my Saturday video. I know it's supposed to be daily, but condensing it all, like grabbing the footage and condensing it to show the story of what, how it transpired for that week, I think is going to work out just fine. I don't think I need to throw in little clips of the boat thing being done every once in a while. Just condense it into a Saturday. I spent time outdoors and I show it to you guys on Saturday. Now, if that doesn't happen because of weather, and I got the alliteration right on this one, Cinema Saturdays. I have a boatload of movies that I want to watch, have watched, have thoughts and feelings about that I have not told you guys because there's just not a good spot to talk about it. So if we don't spend any time outside, Cinema Saturdays is what's happening. And if you have ever seen a Tosh.0 movie review, that's kind of where we're gonna be going with that. Here's a little taste of what he does so that you can get an idea nominee wins, I swear to Christ, I will slit my throat right here on the stage. This is a spoiler alert for Less Miserables. He's funny. It's basically a movie review with comedy, which technically this is Saturday, but I'm not starting the schedule until tomorrow. So <laughs> I don't have to do it today, but I will tell you, I watched Poor Things with Emma Stone, and apparently that is a remake of Frankenhooker, and the movie's like two and a half hours long, but it is pretty damn good. It's pretty good. I do recommend it. I never watched Frankenhooker, but it, I can see how that name did come into play. There is, um, there is hookering hook. She does hook. She does two hook. She does play a hooker. So yeah, at some point. Like that's not her whole persona, but she, she does play a hooker at some point. All right, so this brings me to the final day of the week. And I know I should have started out with it because it's technically the beginning, but not in my head. Sundays are gonna be cooking commentary. I mean, 
I said I was gonna try it again. You guys knew I was gonna do it again. Ooh, fingers crossed this doesn't go horribly wrong. So this is going to be another thing where I am getting clips throughout the week, grocery shopping, food prepping, all of my meals throughout the week. And at this point on Sundays, I'm gonna do a rate and review and recipe and any other commentary on it. So I will be giving my final calorie count of the week because I did say I was counting them weekly to see what my deficit would be. And now we can kind of finally look at that. I can rate my overall week. I know I would have given myself like a six, maybe a five last week, this week. And the week prior, I would have given myself an eight. So the goal is to kind of stick around that eight. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna ever do a 10, but an eight is a good goal. Ranking system, review, good chance to go over the recipe, the macro and micronutrients. And I think it will open up a good door for more commentary in the future where we can interact like possibly on a live. That way when I am showing you some of my cooking and you guys go, what the hell are you doing? I will be able to see it in real time. This is just stuff for in the future though. This is not gonna happen in quite a while. But while making this list, it was important to me to look at it for short-term and long-term goals. That's definitely a long-term goal, but I think it would open up a lot of doors as far as me interacting and doing lives. Also, what I found on the internet Friday could eventually be a live thing as well. I love that there's more opportunities in that. So far, the only issue that I can find is motivational Mondays, because you guys will get this at 10 p.m. PST, probably. So you're not going to have a motivational Monday. You're gonna see me have a motivational Monday and you'll get it on Tuesday. And I have no workaround for that, I really don't. If you guys do, let me know. And if you see any possible holes within this plan, let me know so I can start looking at it that way. Or if you're excited about them, also let me know. If you're new to this channel and this is the first time you're watching, hit that subscribe button so that you guys can follow along on this new scheduled journey. Hit the like button, hit the bell icon, do all the things. And I will ask you guys to join me tomorrow where I will be doing my first installment of Cooking Commentary Sunday. See you tomorrow.